The transgender community in Imphal held a sit-in protest demonstration at Kaisampath, Imphal West, condemning the ongoing ethnic clashes in Manipur. Speaking to me the media, transgender activist Shanta Khurai said they have come out not as a transgender but as a fellow Manipuri, as every Manipuri is suffering in the present scenario. Khurai termed the state government act of seeking intervention of central forces as unfortunate as it failed to cater to the need of the people. Khurai demanded a refugee law in the country. Raising strong objection to internet ban in the state for around 30 days as violation of human rights, Kurai said it had affected everyone in the digital age. Kurai also raised concern about SOO militants breaking ground rules. The community also held two-minute condolence prayer for people who lost their lives in the recent violence. I'm Santa Kurai, and today we have this sit in protest. Uh, this uh, we have come out to organize this protest not as a transgender exclusively, but as a native of Manipur, because we have witnessed the terror that the people have faced for so long. And every time the conflict happens in Manipur, then the state demanded the central forces to come to Manipur to deal with the situation, which is a very unfortunate thing that we have experienced because the external forces that's coming to intervene with the crisis and the violence doesn't meet the need of the, need of the community in the state. Instead, we share resources and we all know that Manipur is a poor state. And the second thing is like Manipur and the other neighboring states in the northeast are very vulnerable because we have shared 98% of the land border with other countries like Myanmar, Bangladesh and China. And the state are very vulnerable. So anything can happen, any kind of such conflict, internet conflict can happen because of the illegal migrant coming in fluctuation. And also, uh, in this regard, we also we also demand to have a refugee law in the, in the Constitution of India very soon. And the second thing is like the separation of information for 30 days. And we are now in the digital era. And internet is a lifeline for many of the peoples, and this really affects the livelihood of peoples, and this is violating the rights to life of the peoples of Manipur. And the third thing is like, uh, why the state didn't have not taken up any step, any step to punish those groups who violated the two ground rules. Because it was the, the ground rules was already violated. There was no arms in the camp. The militants were not in the camp. But still, the government has not said anything against them. And this is also something we ha we have to be very we have to have a very critical understanding of why this is happening. And also, the, looking at the entire scenario, we feel like the central government is is deliberately act to wipe out an entire generation of Manipur. I can't say exclusively for my community, for trans, for Nupi Manbi or Nupa Manba community, this is for all the natives of Manipur, irrespective of their ethnic identity, respect of their, irrespective of their gender identity. We are all in traumatic situation now. We, transgender community any, of Manipur. No, we don't represent any association. We come out as a native of Manipur. May be mentioned that since the violence broke out in May 3rd, every community, irrespective of gender, caste, and creed, are suffering in the state. Most ATM booths have no cash. Curfew is relaxed for only a few hours every day. Gas stations are not opening. In effect, people are buying petrol at market for more than rupees 170 per liter in places. All educational institutions are closed down as they are being used for quarter for central forces.